Hey everybody, are you ready for this? It's Sunday Showcase again with your host, WizWorld100. This time, as with the, uh, like the last poll except, this time we had a Super Nintendo penalty, or the SNES penalty. There was no votes for Super Nintendo because it had a penalty for being voted a little too much. So, and this time, you all voted, and the game that we're gonna play is on the GameCube. And that game is... Eternal Darkness by Silicon Knights and also developed in Canada. That's pretty cool. And in fact, this is a uh, also a really good game too. Um, first off, I'd like to thank uh, Blonde Guy Gamer for uh, getting this game for me. As uh, this was back when it was a little easier to find, especially like in like uh, used games stores. Yeah, thanks a lot, Brett. I really appreciate it, buddy. Now I'm glad that we're playing a different system. But uh, when I was looking at my list of GameCube games, I was like, hmm, I had this and Resident Evil and Killer7 or I, I would have I consider Killer7 something that I would probably do for Halloween but it's but you know it, it's arguable but I only had these two and I was like well gotta do one of them so Eternal Darkness it is so let's pop it in oh speaking of Eternal Darkness I am doing this at four in the morning well almost four in the morning so enough of the delays let's start this Edgar Allan Poe, or by Edgar Allan Poe. Well, for those who said Nintendo was always the kitty console, this is not so kitty. Here is half the fun in a horror game? That is true. The audience is now death. No, that was THX or was it Q? No, THX. Deep in the mountains, secret ninja academy. In space! You know, I actually have not watched this introduction. Hmm. It's that sloppy 3D back in the day. Well, it was starting to get a little bit more refined. This is kind of like in the middle of it. Ugh, maggots! But yeah, the game still looks relatively good, or at least, yeah, relatively good. I haven't actually beaten this game, which is, uh, which sucks because I should have. And it doesn't help that I accidentally deleted one of my save files that I got really far into. Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. All right, so this is Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. Check the options quick. Subtitles off just, or on just in case. Oh, okay, that's number one. Oh, I couldn't hear that, or see what that is. That the, the text is a little too. The text is a little too unique. Game cannot be opened because one card does not exist. Okay, one of my memory cards uh, has uh, Animal Crossing on it. Okay, enough delay. Play the game. We got a mess with this shit. Oh fuck you. Okay. Eh, I can't read. Cards like me! What the fuck, man? Just like, huh? Okay, yeah, shut up, Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe. I only heard this. Oh, I thought I couldn't skip it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's start this. What the fuck? Okay? Oh, screw it. Thanks for wasting already five minutes of that. Before, the land before time. I am Dr. Edward Royless. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. And you're this talking to yourself, which makes you insane, but it makes me also Royless more insane because I'm talking to no one. Except you guys. You guys keep me like sane. It or not, the guardians grow restless. What, Destiny? Their, time, their mm. attention turns to my granddaughter. The person we'll be the playing. Last of my line, and the last hope for humanity. So you're telling her to go get laid? How rest assuring, Grandpa. So this is just a little bit of a warm up to get you started. I still remember the controls, but yeah, it's not that complicated. But not much to say. Oh, oh, it just ends. Obi Wan Kenobi, are you Obi Wan? Oh, she, she was having such a nice nightmare too, and the phone rings you up. If it was me, I would have just turned it off. Not the phone, though, the alarm. Hello? 
This is Inspector Legrasse of the Rhode Island Police. Legrasse? I'm trying to grasp at that concept. <laughs> that suddenly looks so, so low poly. See, I, I typically skip these cutscenes, but, you know. Oh, hey, uh, Gumshoe. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Because no one turned on the lights? Not a pleasant sight. Oh, geez, I wonder why it wouldn't, why it would have been. I'm afraid there's not much to see. Then why show me? <laughs> Wait, you said there wasn't much to see. What the fuck was that? Yes, it's him. Just based on He's the one up. ring to rule them all out. Okay, that was pretty clever. I don't understand. Why are you showing me this? Can't you check dental records or something? What's wrong with you? Because he's a dick. Gumshoe. That was certainly a lot of force used here. The hey, Star Wars. Years on the force. He turned to Obi-Wan. Uh, we don't have a single clue. Look for Blue's clue. Find out what happened. I want answers. Oh, so that's why we were stuck here. Two weeks later. Six hours later. Shocked by her grandfather's mysterious death and frustrated at the incompetence of the local police, Alex vows to uncover the Alex vows to uncover the truth. She st she decides to search the mansion, the place where Edward conducted his research. If there was a tie to his past and possibly a tie to his murder. It would be there, here. Oh my God! It's so freaking dark. Use this function. Oh yeah, you gotta, gotta press B to move on, which is or to continue the text, which is on one hand kind of annoying, but on the other hand, it makes sure that I don't skip through anything too important. There's the map. There's the cutscenes. Yeah, that was cutscene. Yes. Jesus, we spent like five minutes like debating on like what's wrong with your uh, face. This is the key to the second floor. It looks very old and warm. Yeah, I can't I can't see shit, so I had to turn that up. There's playing in there's playing in the dark and then there's just not seeing what the fuck you're doing. Hang on one sec. Oh my god. Great, this is gonna drive me insane as opposed to something else. Yes, saving continue. Ah, much better. Now I can see uh, where everything is. Punch out! Alright, so... Well, we should go to the first, or not first floor, the second floor, since the key actually does something. The door is locked. The key comes apart in the lock. The key to the second floor is broken. Perhaps there's a way of repairing it. Picked up the broken key. Oh yeah, there's this one thing that I did not like with the examining button is, uh... I just examined the thing, but then I gotta press B again to actually look at it when I'm already looking at it, which is really dumb. Yeah, just kind of little... Unintuitive, I gotta say. Now we gotta fix the key. Are you the Keyblade Master? Cloth, hands appear to be stuck. Should I look at the key? Yes. Yay, I found the key. Do -do -do -do. Hey, is that Simon Belmont? Of course not. Although that is a thought. Okay, I'm looking at too many of these paintings. Let's think. So I can't. Oh, that was weird. I was like, I can't go in there. No idea what to do with that yet. At least not this early. So yeah, this game is uh, very unique in that uh, the way it messes with your mind when you have really low s uh, sanity, uh, when you're really low on your sanity meter. And uh, here's another interesting fact. I actually got to talk to the one of the guys who uh, made this game when I was in college. Really interesting guy to talk to. I'll say this, the game runs uh, very, very smoothly. Oh, that did do jack. No, I don't know what time it is. It's, well, actually, I do know what time it is. It's time to... Figure things out. Time to find that desk drawer. Well, the only thing I can do is this, so... Okay, gotta go back to that other clock. Wow, I'm ashamed! 20 minutes in and still nothing uh, interesting happening. The 3.33. Why not 6.66? Six, six, six? Cause uh, that's actually not possible on a clock. Possible to display, but normally is not possible. Three. Oh, okay. So eventually, I would have. It would have just done it by itself. This is one of those games where you uh, have to keep playing it. You can't just put it down, come back way, way after that to come to, you know, and just expect to jump right back in. But now something is happening. No thanks to me or Oni Rokaku. Ooh, sword. Gladius. Not Gradius. 
All right, let's check the book. It's not the Evil Dead book, is it? Harry Potter was the boy who lived. Man, that's called getting immersive into the book. How the knowledge changed me. It will also change you. Wow, that's just normal. I could not see beyond the veil of The chosen one. Chosen. For I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. Wait. It took you until this point to realize that? That's kind of dumb. Meanwhile, in 300. Thank God for subtitles. Oh. Our enemies did not have a chance. But if we are to retrieve the artifact, then we must be strong and patient. Getting very sci-fi uh, like with the finding artifact that probably does something bad. Augustus. Maybe I should have played this game in August. So is there Octoberus and Septemberus? Man, this guy has a calendar, has a calendar month named after him. Obviously that's not true, but it's funny. Not ha ha funny, but it's like, ah ha, that's kind of neat. <sighs> I apologize if this ends up being a somewhat boring episode, but I was expecting this game to be a good game to showcase. It certainly is a good game to play by yourself. Like, you know, you spend time playing it and taking your time with it. Because as a showcase, this is, it, it takes a while. I'm trying to remember, where have I heard that from before? Elsewhere, that is. Maybe Spriggan, which was a movie that I... Oh yes, I want to climb that. Which was a movie that I saw the trailers for back then, but never saw it until much, much later. Now we're in the, the mummy. Hey. Oh. You're not gonna say anything like, Hey, he's dead. Arise. <gasps> he's alive. The boner is strong with him. Oh, yeah, that was kind of scary. I mean, it's the idea of this game that's really cool. Oh yeah, you can aim at different parts of the of an enemy body to like, uh, injure him. Like for instance, if you took out his arms, he would not be able to attack you. Which is, uh, very cool and very strategic. And if you attack at the chest, which is just the general area. Oh. Fatality. Finish him. Fatality. Man, I wonder how many references I can probably throw. Strange granite block. Oh, pick it up. I'm not sure if I died here, or was it like, uh, or from the, Ara from the uh, Arabian uh, quest. But honestly, uh, but I do remember showcasing this once on a charity, and it's just like, uh, and it's just like, uh, I, I died in a, in a relatively early part, but, but like, after this? But it was like, one of those like, really now? You died? Like, come on, man! Ah oh, yes, doing all this stuff will affect the uh, gameplay later on. You'll see what, what I'm talking about. And that's weird. I could have sworn there was a tutorial on uh, how to on uh, fighting efficiently. I'm trying to be quick about this. There is a bunch of skill involved, which is cool. I will disarm you, so you may not be armed to the teeth. You will have no arms. You will have no teeth, and you will not have any more arms. I will finish you all. There's a ladder over there. I don't think we want to go down yet. Or maybe I'm wrong that we gotta go down. Oh, spoiler alert. In in terms of gameplay, uh, you revisit a lot of the maps over and over again. Which you might call lazy and to a degree, sort of, but uh, you, you don't really think about that too much. Because for one thing, you might actually be thankful you're visiting somewhere that should be familiar. Of course it's locked. Don't you see the barricade? Ah, I had to make him look stupid. I believe this is where it like plays around with the uh, with the psychological effects. Or not! Quick, grab it. Oh, fine, let's examine it. The symbol is carved into the... Blah blah blah, something has been removed. Why didn't it work for the blue one? Or did I have to examine it? Son of a bee. Oh. My bad. I used the wrong one. That's weird. How'd I mistaken it for the blue one? Oh, I remember where the music um, that sounds familiar to this is uh, the Beautiful Joe anime. Is this game just like not letting me put the stuff in until I examine it? Okay, let's see if that's the case. This game's already messing with my mind. That 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 symbol looked at like E. T. Uh, like looked like uh, the image of uh, E. T. Like a standing alien. Like anything. No, I'm just gonna jog around the place. Yep. And then move on. Camera is 
Very, it's interesting, but it's not terrible. Oh, uh, you must prove your worth by destroying the statue. L will enable you to target which to attack. So now they show you the tutorial. I guess although I guess early on they expect they think they thought you might have just been mashing the A button. Oh, you can just do tap the uh, R button. You lying son of a bee! And that sound effect reminds me of Courage the Cowardly Dog with uh, King Ramsey. The man in gums, the man in gums, run! Oh, why'd you target him? Great tactics of my ass. Let's attack, let's aim at the uh, farthest guy uh, from my location. Hit detection is pretty lenient. Because uh, it doesn't get too combat heavy, but it does. Oh yeah, removing their head, um, depending on the enemy, will prevent them from finding where you are to attack. Which logically makes sense, but that sanity will be questioned. What's this? Button attached to a small python, softly illuminated. Yeah, push it! I don't feel safe any- oh, okay, I'm okay. Did I get teleported? Wait, I want to go back! There was a door! Oh, wait, don't worry, I guess. Shaped like a direct on a pale blue statue faithfully above the pedestal. Should we claim this? No, that's magic. Yes, we'll claim it for power. And he is red. Wait, I forget. I think I might have screwed myself over. If you pick the green one, you'll, um... I forget, but depending on which one you pick, certain effects will... There are certain things that will affect the game as you go through it. So it, so it does change the uh, game a bit. Man, went on a thousand year diet. Eons have passed since then. And I have learned... How long is a eon? Chaturka's power filled me, invigorating my dead body. Wait, wait, wait. You were alive and then you were dead. That made no sense. Has acquired the Tomb of Eternal Darkness. Ooh, name drop. So basically every time you come back from a chapter, you kind of have to use that knowledge you previously learned to uh, do something with it. Wait a minute. Was there something in that other room that I didn't pick up? Okay, that was just a lamp. I was like, what was that on the shelf? Oh, didn't notice this. Strange. The binding of the corpse god. Not the binding of Isaac now, is it? So what now? That's a creepy face. Like, oh my god. Wait, did it say Phylan? Cambodia. Oh, of course. Forgot to save. Need to remember to do that. Save and save often. Hmm, this game, when was this game made? Because you can play it in widescreen. It was made in, it was in 2002. Yeah, that sounds about right. And purple beats all. I am Skeletor! Yeah, it's Centurion Skeletor. He's stabbing the, the place. Was that the thing from, like, the Power Rangers Ninja Zord? <laughs> like, when when the ape arm combines, it makes that noise. The oh yeah, a ruin in the jungle. Surely it's safe. Hint, hint, get a life. Oh, look, now you gotta spend your life here. So now we're playing a different character, which we will learn something to do. We can go there, and we can go here? Yes, we can. Oh yeah, there are also traps in this game, too, so gotta be careful about that. Oh, there's a puzzle with that, but I don't remember what it is. No breakable barrels. It's a trap! Ah, run for it. Ah, obviously you can see the pressure plates on the floor, so be careful of that as they nice, oh so nicely uh, highlighted it. Oh no! Are you a dead avatar? When located by creatures, a small sanity loss occurs, causing an increasing level of sanity you know, and the character's pulse to green. Beware, sanity loss affects perception and eventually health. Which is, um, kind of the thing. You want to lose it, so, what the? This meter represents a character's sanity, the, the, the lower... It's the hallucinations that make this game interesting, which is, uh... Which is kind of my problem with this game, is because, um... It al it's also keeps your health. Finish him. Yeah, your sanity meter is basically um, to keep you from hallucinating and protecting your health, which is kind of what what I did in my uh, one playthrough of it. Oh, whoops! I pressed the wrong button. Oh, wait a minute. That light in the other. That light in the other room. Did I screw something up? Door is open slightly, but not enough for. Okay. 
But anyways, yeah, the sanity meter. The fun part is losing it and then seeing the crazy effects that it will uh, have on the game. But like I was mentioning earlier, um, because it keeps you from uh, losing health, I tend to have... Uh, oops, almost stepped on that. I tend to keep it pretty uh, high, so I never actually got to see all the uh, crazy effects. Although on occasions I did do it, let it happen on purpose. Oh, I didn't notice that little sun symbol on it. I just saw the candle and was like, nope. Ignoring everything else. I'll at least finish this. What's in here? Dead. Dead. Maybe I didn't do anything wrong in that other room, because it was, uh... It was referring to something about nighttime, so... I had to blow out all the candles. I had to not press B to blow. Triggering any traps. Although these... Although, you're not the only one that can trigger traps, so... Be wary about that. And you're green. Are you red-green? Uh-oh. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'll finish you. Ah. I see what to do now. Uh, I, I get it. I get it. Look at the picture in the back. The sun is in the middle, so I just extinguished that. And there we go. I'm Shushmart. S-A-R-T. Or is it S-M-R-T? Hmm. Gives me a Jungle Book uh, thought. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, though. If you slowly move... If you slowly move, maybe I won't trigger it. Fuck. What is this, Indiana Jones? Luckily, you don't die instantly, so that's a f so that's a rest assurance. I know there's a little. Oh, there we go. Oh, a blow dart or a blow gun. Yes, take it. Gives us some range. And I knew there was a hole somewhere, but I guess I forgot what triggered it. It's broken. Not too secretive, though. Oh no, it's the Titans. You know the colossal Titans. Short sword. Pick it up, and I can use it later. Uh, oh. Yeah, I don't- you don't lose health until, like, uh, until you lose all your sanity. Oh! Yeah, just keep slapping yourselves. Isn't there another sword nearby? Oh, come on. Finish him! Yeah, I'll- I'll, I'll lose- keep some sanity off so we can at least see some effects. Guard is grateful for her saving his life. He robs to repair. Yes, repair the sword. Man, I mean, what kind of- Lame sword, or what kind of sh uh, shitty sword? Oh, fine, I'll finish you off. What kind of shitty sword breaks from that? Not very reliable, if I do say so myself. Oh, actually, I don't think that was a plate. Oh, what did I trigger? Some of them are just unavoidable. What's in this room? Hey, what's that? Apparently nothing. NOTHING! What's this? There's a whole key or a lever. I'm trying to see... Ouch! That was cheap. I was trying to, like, look for the thing. <sighs> Triggering all them traps. You know, I take it back about the camera. Sometimes it's, uh, not so great. Uh-oh. Oh, they're fighting each other. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's watch them fight. Rock them, suck them. Why should I do all the work when they can do it for me? I'll just give a little helping hand, so... Did they all die? Yeah, he exploded and they all died. Uh-oh. Oh, he lost enough health that he, uh, fell over. I'll let him live for the, uh, sanity of it. Now we're in the creepy room. Totally... Hmm. Who would freak out if you were in a room like this? Of course. You were there stabbing him in the eye! And plus he's stuck here, what else can he do? I could have sworn that guy was evil. Chosen! Yeah, Fallout 2. Oh boy, obligations. Ugh. Yeah. Kinda creepy. I was gonna say, was it gonna integrate into me? Or her? Man, what was that one manga? Where, like, uh, this kid had, like, a weak heart, but then he made a contract. I think it was Oni Princess. Yeah, that was it. That was a pretty nice, uh, series. Of course, I think it's also by the same artist who did the, uh... Art for freezing, which I did read a little bit of it, or a little bit of it, but like it dragged on so much that I was just like, I give up. I hate it when things drag on like uh, for a little too long. Like they overstay their welcome and they don't break it up into like seasons, arcs, and you know, whatever. So it just kind of gets really, really tiring. Kind of like how she is right now. I'll at least finish this before like we end it. Uh, this game does kind of take a while because time just flies when you're just playing this. And maybe you're losing your insanity. How the 
hell did I miss that? Come on. And again, it wasn't exactly clear, so let's take a second look. I believe this thing will eat you if you, uh, try to fuck around with it. Not gonna... Oh, right. Almost forgot to save. Moving at the speed of sound. I don't know why this option is here, but... Okay. Oh yes, and to those that are, uh, wondering about where the next videos and, like, reviews are, um... Scripted, recorded, filmed, and I just need to get around to editing them. So finally losing some sanity. Oh, the sanity is already kicking in. Because if you'll notice, the uh, screen is a little crooked. Oh. Uh-oh. Losing a little too much. That's okay. We're here to see the effects. Well, okay, that's a little too much loss of sanity. Okay, now let's use that. Well, this video is also a guide... A small guide to how not to play this game. Oh fuck, now we're in trouble. We need some sanity to defend ourselves. Oh, he grew his head back. Creepy. Okay, note taken. Do not attack. Do not perform finishing moves when thinking about Bob. First, I don't know why I thought, you know, you might be invincible when doing it. Oh, my health isn't that bad. Yeah, if you don't kill if you don't kill them, they'll come back. So now I'm a little crippled. Oh yeah, and then they start crying about stuff. Oh, they are losing their insan their sanity, so fair enough. I'll cut them some slack. Fixing the sanity a little bit, but nothing really is showing. Uh-oh, fuck. I'm pretty sure that was nothing, but that's why the game fucks with you. Unfortunately, that's also the thing. I, I just, I, I, I know what's, uh, I know what's up, so... The effect is kind of lost on me. You can't heal yourself, it's just, uh, not at this point. Uh, you really don't want to get hurt when playing this game. I'm just wondering, is, does she get a little better? At the Omni Omni Omni... I'm pretty sure I saw, like, a, a freaking, like, video where you get eaten by this thing if you do something. Pretty damn sure. Yeah, if you ever do an LP of this game, please edit your video so that it jumps to a more, the more interesting parts of it. Okay, now we're okay. Well, I had no choice! I mean, I couldn't get back up. I tried. By accident. Where is it? Where's my stone? <laughs> Force lightning. If only it was blue. And that was another chapter done. They're not too long, although if you're like me and you get... and you mess up a lot, that happens. Okay, so before I end this, let's at least check out what's happening on Alex's side. Thing from the... Um, chapter we are playing on. Now the sun in the background image is the clue to uh, what we have to do. What did we get? A present message to. Still find it kind of annoying. I have to press to confirm. Check it. Should I open it? Tell it's suspicions of conspiracy. Hey, I didn't say I want to play. I mean, I'll do it some other time. We might do like a revisit to this on a Sunday showcase. Shoot. What was that one like not boss, but like the big boss from, uh, in space. Galactica? Power Rangers in space, by the way. The, the big villain. Actually, you know what? I think uh, when I picked the Red Essence, I made the game harder. Or was it easier melee combat? I, th I, I forget, but I'm pretty sure, depending on which one you picked in that one scene with, uh, August, August 2, when you picked earlier, I think... I think, depending on which one you pick, made the game easier for that part. Red was combat, blue was magic, and green was sanity. After the page is removed, the message is no longer needed. Alex discards it, for some unknown reason. Okay, so, before we jump into the next chapter- oh, right, save. Before we jump into the next chapter, or if I ever come back to revisit this game, um, we will end it right there. Right then and there. Anyway, so that's the, um, Eternal Darkness for the GameCube. I apologize if it wasn't the most exciting thing you've ever seen for Sunday Showcase, because at least that's how, that's what I'm expecting, because 
as a game, it's a lot of fun to play, but for something to like comment over, it's, I, I'm not too good with uh, this one, but uh, who knows? We, If you all desire like a revisit of this, and by revisit, I don't mean like replaying it, but like to continue it, then you know what? We could do that and just see more of this game and kind of let's play it through. Yeah, that's Eternal Darkness. It is a good game though, and I hope this showcase got you interested in seeing it. Maybe to be like, a, oh, I can play better than Wizard World 100. He, he, he's freaking stupid. And, or like, uh, him. He says he's a, it's a pretty uh, interesting game, so maybe you'll go check it out. Once again, thanks uh, to Blonde Guy Gamer for helping me get this game, and uh, I hope you somehow found some way to enjoy this Sunday showcase, or if at the very least you found uh, this video interesting enough to go check the game out yourself, can. And with that said, stay tuned for more. Oh, right, be sure to go to my site, LazyWorks Creations, and um, insert the imagery where you go to Let's Play Gameplay and then go to Sunday Showcase and then go to Sunday Showcase poll and like vote for the next game. So please do, it really helps. And you know, I try to tell you guys about it and for video reviews and like whatnot coming, they are coming soon. I do want to do something for Halloween, but I also don't want to rush it because whenever I rush things, quality tends to drop pretty fast. But yeah, so until next time, you're the viewers and I'm the showcaser. So stay tuned for more I'm gonna go to sleep in the eternal darkness. Bye! Hey guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more than you can see here, be sure to follow me on my Facebook and Twitter for updates on reviews and videos. If you want to help me out, I have a Patreon account, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more video game content for you to watch. Such as the videos I'm showcasing right now. Check out my site LazyWorks Creations and River City Gamers for more content like mine. Such as this video's recommendations is... Blonde Guy Gamer's Eternal Darkness Review. Hey, he got me the game, so why not go check out his video on it? That's just too frustrating for me! Links to all that goodness is right in the description, or click the annotations if you're watching on YouTube.